a circular iron ring has circular cross sectional area of 12 cm square and length 15 cm in iron an air gap of 1 mm is made by a socket find the ampere turns needed to produce a flux of 24.84 microweber relative permeability of iron is 800 neglect leakage and fringing we shall solve the problem relating to the magnetic circuit it's an important question usually asking in university examination this type of questions are very important here in the given question the following data are given that means flux phi equal to 24.84 micro weber that is 24.84 into 10 raised to minus 6 weber area equal to 12 centimeter square which is equal to 12 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter square our magnetic circuit consists of a magnetic portion and an air gap portion here in the question it is mentioned that the length of the magnetic circuit in iron li is given as 15 centimeter and length of the air gap this air gap is made by a socket this length is given as 1 millimeter that means this total magnetic path length of the magnetic circuit equal to 15 centimeter and this length length of the air gap is denoted as 1 millimeter we have just derived the important relation relating the mmf magnetization force h and length of the magnetic circuit that means mmf equal to h into l we have just derived so we have to split this circuit into two portions one magnetic circuit in iron two air gap so first we calculate the mmf regarding the magnetic circuit in iron next we solve the mmf, MMF relating to air gap then total mmf is taken by adding these two portions magnetic circuit in iron and the mmf relating to air gap so here the formula becomes mmf of iron i equal to h into length of the iron this relation mmf equal to h into length of the iron we know the relation of b and h b equal to mu into h so h equal to b by mu and mu equal to mu 0 mu r so h equal to mu 0 mu r which is equal to instead of h b by mu 0 mu r into l i so we should know the flux density b in question it is given phi and a so b can be calculated by taking the relation b equal to phi divided by a mu zero it is the permeability of free space that means 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 mu r relative permeability is also given in the question length of the iron li is 15 centimeter so by substituting the values you will get the answer that means mmf relating to iron when considering air gap the same form some slight difference mmf of a equal to h into l a where l a is the length of the air gap again same relation h equal to b by mu zero mu r into l a here you should know an important fact it is an air gap so as you know the relative permeability mu r is 1 therefore b by mu 0 into l a 
d the same value that you have substituted in this expression d equal to 5 divided by e mu zero you know the value of mu zero 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 length of the air gap already in the question 1 millimeter so by substituting these values you will get the answer regarding the mmf of the air gap now the final answer is mmf total mm of total equal to mm of of iron plus mm of of air gap just adding the magnetic circuit in iron and the mm of of the air gap so you will get the final answer the final answer is around 19 ampere terms the unit of mm of is ampere terms in this problem it is mentioned in the question that we have to neglect leakage and fringe. Now, another set of problem comes here. That means considering leakage and fringe. For that, we should know an important coefficient called the leakage coefficient. So, before going to the definition of leakage coefficient and considering the same magnetic circuit that mentioned earlier, that means some portion of iron and an air gap. So, when you want a coil in this magnet and passing a current I, some magnetic flux will be produced around this magnetic path or magnetic circuit. Here also, some magnetic lines will flow from magnetic material through air gap and again back to the magnetic material. So, the flux produced in this section is termed as leakage flux. Leakage flux. This flux is called useful flux. That means flux across the air gap. Now, the leakage coefficient lambda equal to total flux divided by useful flux again I am explaining the leakage coefficient lambda equal to total flux divided by useful flux that means total flux divided by air gap flux normally in problems they have mentioned if they have mentioned the value of leakage coefficient then you have to consider the leakage and fringing also by calculating the problem so, if the leakage coefficient lambda is given, suppose lambda is given as 1.1, then you, you have to include this leakage coefficient in this problem also by calculating the problem. I am explaining the same problem that I have mentioned earlier. The only difference is the last line. In the earlier problem, it says a neglect leakage and fringing. But here I am explaining. You have to consider the leakage and fringing if you got the value of lambda. If you mention, if you have in my question paper, if it is mentioned as leakage coefficient lambda equal to 1.1, then you have to include this leakage and fringing also. Where you should include this leakage coefficient lambda? That is an important factor. From this expression, lambda equal to total flux divided by useful flux. Here, the useful flux equal to useful flux equal to total flux divided by lambda. Useful flux is denoted to or useful flux is usually associated with the air gap. So, also, whenever the leakage coefficient lambda is given, you have to include this lambda in this air gap portion. That, that means instead of substituting B in air gap, if you have the value of leakage coefficient lambda, then substitute D by 1.1, B divided by 1.1 instead of B. So there is a slight change. B divided by 1.1 becomes B by 1.1 into mu 0 mu r 
L A. That means this one by one is included in this portion, air gap portion, not for the magnetic circuit in I R. That is the only difference between this problem and the problem that I have mentioned earlier. That is B divided by one by one into nu zero mu R into L A. Also, you know, for an air gap, the relative permeability mu R is one. So B divided by one by one into mu zero into L A. Then substitute and give the values. Are there any thing? I am explaining the two problem with the same data. The only difference is this leakage. All other concepts are same. That means the total M M F equal to M M F of the magnetic circuit and M M F of the air gap. You have to add the value of M M F relating to the magnetic circuit in iron and M M F of the air gap. 